Hi there, I wanted to join you today and do a really quick video to uh, share a couple things that are happening for me right now. The first one being the Mexico retreat that's coming up in just two weeks. I wanted to share that there's a little bit more time for you to jump on board, still some flights, still some ways to get there in time. So if you're on the fence and you needed a little push, I wanted to give you a little bit more of a heads up about what the retreat is going to be about and to share, I'll be sharing it here. Um, yeah, so we would love to see you there. I know it's perfect timing for me and that is leading into the second reason why I wanted to um, talk to you on this video and it's to do with the winter blues. So I don't know if you're anything like me and beginning to notice maybe feeling a little bit gloomy, a little bit more lethargic, a little feeling unmotivated, maybe noticing some negative thinking and things going on. That comes along with the winter blues. So I wanted to share some tips that have helped me um, when I notice these, these kind of feelings start to come over on, in myself. So I have four tips for you. The first one is just to align with your body's inner clock and to be aware that we have one and that it shifts in the season. So as we light sunlight decreases, so does uh, this, there a shift happen in our inner body clock that uh, our get up and go kind of signals are shorter. They aren't as, don't provide as much time for us or desire for us to do those things. In today's world, with all our, our artificial lighting, we can easily ignore um, what our body is saying and override its needs and this is a big piece of what we're going to be talking about in at the retreat in the reconnecting to what our body is telling us so that we can align to what our needs are it's incredibly easy for us to ignore uh, the needs of our body and what happens when we ignore our body is that it needs to get louder and louder and louder until we finally stop and listen. So the winter blues is another way to remind us that we need to slow down, check in and ask our bodies what, what it's needing. Does it need more sleep? What does it need? Does it just need to slow down? So those are some things that we want to get still long enough and question and ask our bodies, what, do, what does it actually need right now? So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to do with noticing our limiting beliefs. So what are the things that are starting to pop up in your mind? Maybe now that you know the, the excitement of Christmas is over, January is well over, and all our, our goals that we hadn't met or things that we are act absolutely going opposite and not working for us, and we begin to beat ourselves up and things when we notice and get still and turn inward, we can notice that there's some thinking there that's not really supporting us. So this is an opportunity to, also at the retreat, I'll be teaching you how to go inward and take a look at what's going on there. And are your thoughts limiting you or are they supporting you? And really how you can begin to make sure that you have the awareness and have the steps to, to challenge what's going on if they're really not supporting you. The third tip is to add more pleasurable things in your life. And this is to do with something that I'm just learning right now um, and really, really enjoying. It's to do with, it's called Elegant Femme, and I'll attach a link to her site and where she talks about we have uh, three different parts of us that require something a little bit different. And for me, that one of the three, which is the part that requires pleasure and enjoyment, is one of the ones that I let go of first, especially when I'm starting to feel gloomy and my negative thinking is starting to come in and I'm ignoring my body. I really cut out pleasure and I feel it really quickly. One way for me to easily shift out of it is to start to add more things in there. Seeing my friends more often, going out for coffees, getting outside, going for a walk, doing yoga, spending time with family, whatever it is for you that feels pleasurable, 
um, trying to add some more of that in there really does begin to shift you out of your gloomy blues. So that's tip number four. Now tip number five is the awareness that we're really just lacking a lot of the vitamin D that comes from the sunlight. So sometimes we do need a little bit of a, a boost. And I know for me, that's a huge piece that I feel the difference really quickly when my vitamin D levels are low. So I'm looking forward to getting a huge boost while we're in Mexico and getting a lot more sunshine. So the four tips that I want to share with you, I'll just quickly go over them again. The first one is the awareness of your body's inner clock and that it's shifted and that it, your body might need something different in the winter and to pay attention to find out what that is. The second one is to notice and challenge your limiting beliefs. So if you've got some negative thinking going on, take the time to notice what it is and not to believe it necessarily, but to question it. Ask, ask the questions that need to, need to be asked to really prove if this is something that is serving you or actually getting in your way. Number three is to do more pleasurable things. So adding in all that goodness that makes you feel good when you do it. And number four, getting some vitamin D or even better, going summer warm and getting the sunshine. So I hope these tips help you. And one of the reasons why I'm doing the retreat in March is because this is the time that many of us want to get away. And a retreat where it combines a little bit of all these four things is a perfect way to gift yourself something that not only makes you feel better for the rest of the winter, but also into the year going forward with giving you tips and tools um, to really help you reconnect, realign, and recreate the life that you have. So I hope you join me at the retreat, and if not, I hope these tips help you um, to get through the winter blues. Talk soon.